What up is Silk D-O-double-G? Your Memphis Tigers have officially been signed to a multi-year deal to the SEC. This is coming off of last season's one-year trail run with the conference. The bad part is your Memphis Tigers will have to open up against the Georgia Bulldogs. Shoot, good luck with that. That's all for CBS 24 News, but make sure you hit that subscribe button for Trigger. Haha, <laughs> surprise, ladies and gentlemen we are back we took some time off of this memphis dynasty however we are back into it going into our third season here and what a journey it has been from starting off in the american conference with quarterback competition quarterback drama drama with our athletic director deals in the negotiations on getting new facilities all the star players with, between Kylan Watkins, Calvin Austin, Javon Ivory, the list goes on to getting a one year deal in the SEC. We have been through a lot in this dynasty so far. And if you haven't seen any of it, if you would like to, I, I will put the first video down in the description down below so you guys can start from season one okay all of these cutscenes come from this memphis dynasty so we are going to continue to keep building this program the right way because although last season our first year in the sec it was not perfect you know we went nine and four had some early struggles and you kind of saw this program was not quite ready for that level yet but we have an important announcement here for you guys but as you saw we were voted in and it looks like we're going to be staying here in the sec for a while so we better level up our program that's for sure all right guys let's go ahead and check out the players that are leaving rather it's graduation or the nfl draft oh man collins ducksworth starting left tackle austin myers starting d tackle john tate our starting right guard and of course javon ivory says he's declaring for the nfl draft but he's only projected at a round six he's a red shirt sophomore so he's really the only guy that we can try to, to convince to stay it says here the persuasion chance is very high well, what do we think he values more a national title conference championship or a higher round in the draft honestly i think a higher round in the draft because i think if he stays another year He's going to go from projected round six, probably first or second round. All right, let's do round one, NFL draft. You're right, coach. I love this university. I'm going to hang around another year. Let's go. Yeah. Javon Ivory making the decision to hang around and stay at Memphis for one more season. Yo, check this out transfer request we got a right tackle transferring from arkansas trying to come to memphis here a six seven freshman 75 overall yes please and here on signing day you see here at the top we missed out on a couple of recruits here no big deal we got a speed demon and jeremy jackson coming robert luke six four speed receiver that's right six four speed out of alabama that is the thing about us and like what we have been doing we have, we have definitely been trying to get a lot more size to be able to compete here in the sec at outside linebacker we got demario james the number one outside linebacker in the country out of georgia he's officially a memphis tiger hey let's go we found a gem right here in sean wood 77 overall he's got that plus seven boost he's a hard hitting cornerback out of louisiana it looks like he's definitely going to be getting some playing time as a freshman okay okay getting to know this year's memphis tigers team and of course they're led by sophomore quarterback zamir spider who had an impressive offseason gaining an attribute of plus six now hitting a 90 overall at running back we had another shocker brandon thomas who is our starting running back last season is currently sitting number two on the running back depth chart now of course we do plan on playing multiple running backs in this game ducker just had a crazy offseason didn't get to play at all last year because of an injury so he had all last year and offseason to train and get ready for this upcoming year he got a plus nine attribute which went right past brandon thomas and behind him is a freshman running back kevin jackson who is very dynamic and could be getting reps as well at fullback of course james devlin jr and one of my favorite groups on this team this wide receiver group is special led by sophomore david harris a 95 overall yeah we we recruited him he was a gem a 6-3 possession receiver with a 93 speed led by javon ivory who we persuaded to stay in school for another year to potentially be a higher draft pick after this season and in our slot we got kai matthew the 5'9 junior with a plus four speed rating this offseason and you see he's at that 99 speed and we have so many like younger guys a lot of sophomores and freshmen down below we do plan on rotating a lot of these guys in and getting them some reps at tight end if you watch our national signing day elvis walker going into his sophomore year 6'8 214 pounds with an 86 speed him and kaden are going to be a really nice 
this duo right here. All right, our offensive line, Rufus Wilson will be getting his opportunity this season to start. Matt Williamson at left guard, Matt Robinson at center. Even though Likes is a junior and his overall is better, Robinson has better pass pro. We got to give Zamir some time back there. And at right tackle, so this was the situation. We got a transfer right tackle from Arkansas. However, because this game is 10 years old, he is not eligible to play for us this year, unfortunately. So he's got to wait a whole year before he can play. But it's nice to know that we do have a 76 overall freshman coming in. Now heading on to the defensive side. Do you guys remember a couple seasons ago, we wanted some size for our defensive line. And that's exactly what we got. He is our 6'7 defensive end. We're running a 3'4 defense. We need our D linemen who are going to be able to sit in the 3 tech and the 5 tech and just clog up gaps. That's what he can do. 6'7", 277. At right end, we got Demarcus McCarty. A little bit better overall, 87 overall. Not only is he 6'5", 273 pounds, he can get to the quarterback, no doubt about it. And at D-tackle, we got All-American sophomore, 6'7", 278, Chip Thomas. And on the outside, this is kind of what we're playing with right now. Cole Mashburn got a plus seven offseason boost hitting a 90 overall this is the season Masburn has got to produce some pressure on the quarterback like i said running the three four so our outside linebackers have got to get home and he better step it up this year because below him is demario james the number one outside linebacker in the country 82 overall you already know he wants that spot at mike jj spikes if you guys remember we actually recruited him he came to the crib we talked about it got a, a plus six speed rating so he is going to be hunting this year him and deshaun nicholson both sophomores right there in at cornerback man all of our corners came back from last year i mean i think we might have been missing one but most of our team came back from last year and we got some dogs julian barnett should be an all-american this year 92 overall rating with a 93 man coverage 93 zone below him these sophomores you know last year when they were freshmen they got burnt a lot i'm not gonna lie but that's the thing like we were not afraid to play them and because we played them i think it's paying off because joe gibson got a plus six overall rating he was got a plus five rating and here is the freshman future all-american sean wood 77 overall i imagine he will be getting some reps this season and who can forget at free safety mark mcdonald a 91 overall getting a plus six rating this offseason just a freak athlete sophomore 6'4 a hard hitting safety now it's time let's take a look at our schedule and we'll be playing the first game of our schedule here in this video <laughs> and are you kidding me of course we have to play the number six team in the country the georgia bulldogs oh man this was locked there's nothing i could do about it we are on the sec east side I guess the good news is it's a neutral side game. It's a Chick-fil-A kickoff. We were going to have to play them eventually. Ladies and gentlemen, here we go. The opening game for your Memphis Tigers here in season three. We got the Chick-fil-A kickoff game between your Memphis Tigers and these Georgia Bulldogs. Reigning, defending, all of that, you get it. Last season was just our first season here in the SEC, but what better opportunity than right now to show that we belong. Had a young team last year, still kind of young, but hey, at least a lot of these players are sophomores and they have actual experience. Georgia Bulldogs all the way around the stadium. Sick them. And we are underway here. Ty Matthew, get, oh my God, let's go, let's go. Kai Matthew with a 44 yard return. Set your tires up in excellent field position. Well, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Zamir Spider leads this Memphis Tigers offense out in the field. First play, let's do a read option here. And that one off. That's Ducker, the ball carrier, only a game of three. We already know it's trying to establish a front against these Georgia Bulldogs is going to be a tall task. All right, we got double out routes right there. The play action pass. Fuck. Oh, wrong receiver, man. I was trying to go to R1. I accidentally hit X. That's on me. That's on me. I need to I, I need to settle down too. Oh, 
This place is getting loud. Third down and seven. Jameer gets the snap. Rolling out to the right. Yes, he's got Matthew. He hangs on to it. First down, Tigers. That was excellent coverage by the Bulldogs. Just not able to get home against us. All right, guys. I like this one-on-one. -on -one. Potentially with Elvis Walker in that safety if we get this uh, corner right here. And play action up there in zone. Jumping that down. David Harris. Hurdle him, man. Let's go. First down and goal, Tigers. Come on. Uh, we got an outside pitch here. Let's see how fast his defense is getting there. Oh, God. Fumble. Come on, man. I was, I was going to say, there's that Georgia defense we all know. All right, second down and goal. Let's see if we can get some yards and, get, and make the third down more manageable. Oh, you're polar. Let's go. Get up there. Third down and goal from the two yard line. What a run up the middle. This offensive line. You can tell this offseason they, they really have put in the work. All right, guys. Third down and goal. We're going five wide here. But you know what? Yeah, I think we're going to quarterback keep this. Here we go. Get in there. Oh my God. Short. We're going for it. Fourth down and goal. Simple halfback dive. Let's go to our left side because I think our left side is a lot better. Nice double team. Get in there. Touchdown, Memphis. That's what I'm talking about. Your Memphis Tigers take the early lead. 7 0. First touchdown of the season. All right, here we go, boys. Let's hunt. Let's hunt. Here we go. Ray Vincent, you need to show up here. See how he does here. Oof. Kind of just got cut there. Kendall Milton. Getting a 13-yard gain there for Georgia's first play offensively. Georgia's like, all right, you want to run on us? But check this out. Let's go, D-line. Ray Vincent working on number 59 for Georgia. Not even sure who that is. Oh, my God. Mitchell getting a gain of 11 yards. You got to get somebody back there. Yeah, we're coming after you. We're coming now. Ooh, what I tell you? I told you McDonald is a hitter. Came up, filled the gap. Perfect tackle. These big boys in the middle clogging up these holes. Let's go. Motioning Brock Bowers now. AJ Spikes is there. Yes. George is only going to get a gain of four, setting up a third down and five. First big test for our defense. Let's go, D. Let's go, D. Yes, we got there. Hey. Demarcus McCarty getting off his block and getting to the quarterback. I told you he'd be able to get there. Come on. And at the end of one, we had a long drive, but we punched it in. We're up 7-0, and we're getting the ball back. Let's stay on him here. Well, here we go. Start of the second quarter. We got the ball back. Let's go on a drive here. So we can do more than just shotgun. Under center, play action, pro style. Here we go. Dump that down to Kai Matthew. The boy was wide open, a 14-yard reception. That's the thing. We have so many weapons here. All right, here we go. Let's get our tight ends involved. They probably think we're running it here. Play action. Dash back to pass. Oh, yeah, we got... Oh, my God. We, do. we had room there, too. That's another first down for your Memphis Tigers. Hall of Fame. Gator sliders. The best sliders you can get. Where is this Georgia defense at? You know what? Let's stay humble. Let's stay humble and stay on them. Kind of feeling like CJ Stroud just slicing and dicing them up. Let's go back to this running game here, though. Oh, not able to get through the first line of defenders there. Can this Georgia defense get off the field? That's the question. I mean, their offense was rolling there for a minute. All right, going to motion over Jake Smith here. It's like some man on man. Safety's walking, going away. We got R1. Not a great throw, but they can't cover Kai Matthew. They cannot cover Kai Matthew. Oh, man. 
And for those who are new to the channel, it's not like we just picked up Memphis and now we're beating Georgia. We have been building this program. Season three, game one, going empty here under center. Boom! Elvis Walker in the slot for a touchdown, Memphis. Oh my God. Where is the defense? I told you guys this team has experience now especially playing at the sec level and they're hungry let's go all right vincent's now he's not doing a damn thing taking off of it gonna get a gain of six yards second down to four coming up i really believe georgia has got to get some points up on the board here before halftime yo jj spike shooting the gap nowhere to go with it you know we're not missing tackles because last year man we were we were young we we're weak but that's not the case okay okay <laughs> all right he's supposed to be like and he's supposed to be like a 90 something overall outside linebacker that was ridiculous and mashburn demario james is there he saw that he's laughing the boy wants a spot uh oh milton up the middle yeah, we're not in the right formation there. Just a good run by Georgia here. Second down and four coming up. One minute and 40 seconds left here in the second quarter. Yeah, we're bringing the heat now. Drop back. I'm coming up. Oh, man, we're hitting today. We're hitting today. Third down in inches. I mean, I guess if we can get a stop here, that'd be massive. Let's go. I don't know if we will, though. Imagine a simple handoff. Oh, my God. Okay. Yeah. That play that Georgia offensive line was not messing around. Yeah, they really weren't. I am so sick. All right, Mashburn, you're done. All right, we took out Ray Vincent and Mashburn. We uh, substituted a couple of the, the young guys in there, see how they pulled up. Whoa, let's go. Demarcus McCarty getting another sack. I'm talking about, man, getting after the quarterback. That's what was missing last season. We did not have that. Let's go, man. Third down and 10. We need to stop. I'm back with JJ Spikes on oh, man. He had that middle wide open. No, 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 I'm covering. I'm covering. Oh, he was out of bounds. That's illegal touching. What? He wasn't? Damn. And ladies and gentlemen, after the first half, your Memphis Tigers are up 14 to 7. Georgia was able to answer there right before halftime. And that's that's always a killer. You can't give those up right before half. I thought he was potentially out of bounds. That's not the case. One hell of a first half, though, for these Tigers. Let's set the tone for the rest of the season, and let's finish here in Atlanta. All right, guys, 14-7. to Georgia scored last possession. Let's get a stop here. Going with an outside pitch to Melton. All right, second down and three. We're going to do like an oaky roll here. McDonald come down to the last second. Oh man, that cutback, that was a good cutback. He must have saw us coming down too. Both teams with six first downs. McDonald, oh my God, I thought he was gonna throw to the other side. That would have been picked off. Mitchell with a six yard reception. I think I'm gonna start running some man coverage. I wanna see our guys versus their guys. Let's go nickel, two, four, five formation. You know, we still got the big studs up front. Man on man, let's see it. Who the hell was that to? <laughs> I don't think he was ready for some man coverage. Third down and four, switching up now, bringing out some more DBs. That's right, we're, we're pressing. Using our safety McDonald. Uh oh, dude, he had a guy too. Thank God I was using that safety. And we're going to get the stop, man. Wow. When I was using that safety, not going to lie, whoever that corner was, he got beat bad. Here we go, guys. Let's just run our offense, man. They have not really been able to stop us. 
So let's keep it rolling here. And then I went off the Ducker up the middle. What a massive gain for Javon Ducker. Seven rushes, 59 yards now. Yeah, throwing that one away. That was a new play I've never ran before. Didn't really feel too confident in it. Not trying to make a mistake. All right, second down and 10. Let's take a shot here. We got Elvis Walker. Yes, sir. 27 yard reception and a first down for your Tigers. Georgia was bringing that blitz off the left side. Luckily able to get it off in time. Just a simple PA boot levels concept here. Here we go. Well, not to the left. Yeah, eh, I don't really like that option right there. I was thinking circle, but that's a 50 50 ball. In my opinion, killing Georgia with our legs. They had really good coverage there. Uh oh, is that one on one with Harris? I don't know what that safety's doing, but I like that. No, nope, that's zone coverage. Dump that down, Ducker. Trying to make a move, not able to do it. Second down to five now. That's supposed to be a counter play. No, I don't like the extra guy that's walked up. All right, play action. We got Kai Matthew running an out route and Walker has a curl. Zone coverage. Don't get there. Get upfield. Touchdown, Tigers. Come on. Man, what a drive. We are on it today. Can our defense answer here? 21 7. We get a stop. We're going to be in a great position to win this ball game. Milton with a three yard rush there. So, this is what Georgia's offense looks like without Munkin, huh? I like it. Here we go, boys. Second down and seven. Oh, my God. Milton, once again. Oh, okay, just running over our guys. He didn't even get a tackle animation out. <laughs> just under a minute to go here in the third. He's running some zone coverage. That's a run. Another run. They are itching to just bust one loose. Using our middle linebackers, setting the edge, not allowing them to get out there. And then our D linemen get off their blocks and make the play. That was the thing of beauty. Third down and six, last play of the third quarter. Can we get off the field here? Come on, D. Yes, he's short. Get your fours up. 21 to seven. Are you kidding me? The first game of season three in our Memphis dynasty. We're starting this thing with a bang. No surprise here. George is lined up to go for it. Fourth down and three. Can we get a stop here? Come on, boys. Oh, he's passing. He's Yes. JJ Spikes is there on the tackle for all American linebacker. Yo, McDonald missed that SWAT. Luckily, we stayed on it. And that's going to be Memphis Tiger football. This stadium is quiet right now. Ducker with a nine yard reception. Now we just want to stay in bounds and let this clock work. Let me just say as an Ohio State fan, I hate this part of the field. Ducker up the middle. Oh man, you guys see the explosiveness that he has. It's going to be a great year. All right, guys, let's put the dagger on him here. 21 7. Let's go double seams. Uh, Harris can run a, a dig route. Duck is running a. a I'll have him run a wheel. Spider Josh about to pass. This is a deep drop back. Oh, or one we got wide open. Hey, first down and gold Ducker. I would have hit him earlier. He probably would have gotten into the end zone. That's on me. First down and gold. Three minutes to go here. Let's just punch it in. Kai Matthew. He's eaten. And that's a touchdown, Tigers. 12 for 14, 165 yards. Three tutties. Heisman difficulty. The updated sliders. 
Yeah, this offense is going to be sick this year. 28-7. Georgia is just trying to get some points on the board and not make it look like a blowout. And what it came down to today is not only is our offense just executing at a, such a high level, our defense has done things that our past Memphis defenses have not been able to do, and that is get pressure on the quarterback and make tackles when you need them the most. Except for right there. Oh my God, how was that not picked off? That's insane. Minute 40, George is trying to get into the end zone here. I was trying to blitz and like show blitz and then drop back in the coverage. I saw Brock Bowers there. Go play action pass. Get him. Bro, you got to catch that. You get. You got to catch that, man. Like we, we're not doing that again this year. Last year, that was a way too common thing. I will put a corner and develop him at safety if I have to. Oh, man, what a pass. Bandit Griff. That's right, Ben. Don't break. Fourth down and goal. Come on, D. So I'm covering Brock Bowers here on a flat route. Yo, let's go. Joe Gibson breaks that one up. And your Tigers are going to win the game. Yo, this defense has been flying around. Once again, got to catch those things. Everything that we've gone through these last couple of seasons and now getting an opportunity to play in the SEC, to play against Georgia week one, basically in their home turf here. This is program changing. Oh, nicely hit. Typical Georgia. Oof, man. Ladies and gentlemen, I think we have a pretty damn good team in your Memphis Tigers. They're experienced. They're hungry. The offense looked so dynamic, explosive, all the right pieces. The defense, they're doing all the little things right. They're hunting out there. Your Memphis Tigers get the job done 28 to 7 in their home turf. We got a lot more coming to this channel, as you guys already know. College football revamp content is what we do around here. We will be staying up to date with everything going on around the country as well. So if you guys liked revamp content, anything college football related, make sure you hit that sub button for me. I definitely appreciate it. I'll be back real soon with next week's game, along with other things in the work as well. So until then, have a good day, and I'll catch you guys later.